Hey guys, welcome to our 11th lesson of our certification training for the XM MO300 and so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019 and in today's lesson we will learn all the peculiarities about inserting and formatting images. Perfect, so the objectives are resize and crop images apply built-in styles and effects to images, insert screenshots and screen clippings, insert and format graphic elements, and this objective is for another lesson. Okay, so let's, let's start at the beginning, and before we resize and crop an image, we have to firstly insert an image. So there are two options here. The main one is to go to the to, to go to the insert tab and under the images category you can choose pictures. Click this device for example and I will insert this picture. This is an open source image from Unsplash and another option on how we can insert an image is to insert a slide that has a media placeholder in it. So here we have our media placeholder and we can choose to insert picture into this placeholder like that. But let's delete that. Okay, so let's begin with the first objective which is to resize and crop images. So let's select the image and go to the newly appearing picture format tab and here under the size category you have all the available options so for example to resize we can simply hold the image by its corner and resize it that way we can also set the exact height and width and you can notice that the aspect ratio stays the same because by default images have locked the aspect ratio so when you want more options, for example, to disable the aspect ratio, you click this arrow and uncheck this box and now, as you can see, the height is increasing but the width stays the same, okay? So that's, for example, how you can unlock or lock the aspect ratio. Okay, let's now crop the image. So the option available is here. So now there is something called free crop or at least I would name it that way and now you can crop the image in whatever way you like it so for example this way we can also crop the image to match a specific shape and in the exam setting there would be the shape would be exactly specified so for example we can crop the image to hexagon like that let's undo that we can crop the image also to match a certain aspect ratio so for example this one perfect so that's how you crop and resize an image. Okay, the next objective is to apply built-in styles and effects to images. So there's truly an abundance of options here. So for example, we can do in PowerPoint some basic corrections like increasing brightness or contrast. We can choose a color overlay. So for example, here this turquoise color and as we go through these options you can notice that each option we choose has a certain name associated with it so always be careful to choose exactly the one that is required on the MOS exam for example now it's called the watercolor sponge okay then we have some built-in picture styles with borders and shadows like that and we can also choose these options individually so picture border we can choose weight to the border we can choose the style of the border 
For example, in picture effects there's even more options for shadows, for reflections, for glow, for soft edges and then you can have other soft edges options, so the, there are so many options here and you should be pretty knowledgeable about that. Before we move on to the another objective, I'd like to show you an option in PowerPoint that enables you to remove background from an image and it's quite handy, so under the Adjust group you click Remove Background and now the PowerPoint switches to this view where all the pink-ish color will be removed from the image, so let's mark areas to keep and we want to remove all the sky and keep everything else, okay? So let's mark the areas to keep. It takes a while because the screen recorder right now is slowing down the performance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more, maybe here, like that, and also here. Mm -hmm. And one more here. That should be enough. Perfect. So now let's keep the changes and you can see that the, sky, that the sky has been removed. Perfect. The next objective is to insert screenshots and screen clippings into PowerPoint. So there are a few ways how we can achieve that. The first one is go to the Insert tab and you can under the images group choose to make a screenshot under the media group also we have for example screen recording but the option I like the most is to go to the recording tab and here you have all the available options together so let's insert screenshot you can see that we have some available windows so for example I can insert screenshot just of the screen recording software, just like that. Or I can, for example, insert screen clipping. And now I can choose the part of the screen which I'd like to insert. So for example, let's clip this Windows logo. And as you can see, it has been inserted into the presentation as a picture and it's now fully editable, okay? So this is everything for today's lesson. I hope you find it valuable. If so, smash that like button. Please subscribe because most of you who are watching right now are not subscribed. And yeah guys, I will see you in the next video.